Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of startups with a book that has been causing quite a stir in the business world. That's right, we're talking about The Lean Startup by Eric Rice. If you're looking to launch your own business or simply improve your entrepreneurial skills, this book is a must-read. So let's jump right in. But before we dive into the content, I kindly request a moment of your time to appreciate this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. The Lean Startup by Eric Rise offers a fresh approach to entrepreneurship, emphasizing on experimentation, constant improvement, and adapting to customer needs to increase chances of success. Who should read The Lean Startup? Anyone interested in entrepreneurship and or in starting their own company? Anyone interested in quick product development and testing? Founders, managers, and employees in tech companies. The author Eric Rise is a successful entrepreneur. He co-founded IMVU, a social network that uses 3D avatars. Today, he is a sought-after consultant and public speaker. The Lean Startup helps startups and tech companies develop sustainable business models. It advocates continuous rapid prototyping and focusing on customer feedback data. The method is based on the concepts of lean manufacturing and agile development, and its efficacy is backed up by case studies from the last few decades. Here are some key takeaways from the book. 1. Startups need to be managed differently from established companies. Traditional management consists of two components, developing plans and overseeing the people executing them. A manager creates a plan, sets milestones, and delegates tasks to your employees, guiding them to ensure they hit their milestones on time. This management strategy works in established companies that have been around long enough to know what worked in the past and therefore what could work in the future. Startups are different, though. They can't predict their own future because they have no past, don't know what their customers want, and don't know which approaches are best for finding customers or creating a sustainable business. To find out what could work, they must stay flexible. To adopt fixed plans with set milestones or rely on long-term market forecasts would be to delude themselves. Nevertheless, many founders do use corporate management tools such as milestone plans and long-term market forecasts. They act as if they are preparing a space rocket for liftoff, tinkering with it for years, and only launching it when they think it's perfect. In reality, managing a startup is more like driving a Jeep across unstable and shifting terrain. Where the founders must constantly change direction and respond quickly to unexpected obstacles and dead ends. However, startups shouldn't abandon planning completely to adopt a chaotic, just do it mindset either. Driving chaotically is not going to get you anywhere. Someone has to be at the wheel to make intelligent decisions about which way to go. A startup's management team should try to maintain an overview of their situation and keep their company steered toward its overall goal. Hence, they need to find the right metrics to measure whether their journey is leading them in the right direction. Startups need to be managed differently from established companies. 2. The purpose of a startup is to find a sustainable business model. The main goal of any startup is to find a business model that is profitable and sustainable. The most intricate and detailed milestone plans. The most efficient execution of those plans or even the undivided and devoted attention of the press won't help the slightest without a sustainable business model. 3. Find your sustainable business model through validated learning. In order to find a sustainable business model, startups have to discover what their customers want and how to make money from it. They have to find the right product for the right people and understand how to sell it to them. This doesn't mean coming up with a great plan from the start. Rather, it requires a process of constant learning, ideally validated learning, meaning learning through a scientific approach. 4. The leap of faith assumptions, test your value, and growth hypotheses. Part of developing a product is the leap of faith. A founder believes in the future success of the product she wants to create, even though there's no proof for this yet. To quickly close the gap between believing and knowing, every founder should formulate and test two fundamental assumptions. 5. Develop a minimal viable product to test your idea in the market. Many founders spend too much time working on a product in isolation without knowing whether there are actually any real customers for the product. 
If you want to create a sustainable business, you must find out as quickly as possible whether there is any demand for your product. 6. Build, measure, learn as fast and as often as possible. In the search for a sustainable business model, the top priority is learning. Every startup has to learn which products to build and how to earn money from them. This can't happen if you're out of touch with the real world. You need to get out there, show your product to customers, gather their feedback, and then learn from it. 7. Use split tests to optimize your product. When developing and improving a product, startups have to distinguish between value and waste. They must find out which features are valuable for their customers and which aren't. Valuable features are those that help the company attract more customers or increase its revenue. 8. To find the right business model for your company, you usually have to pivot. Many startups believe in the popular myth that the key to founding a successful company is perseverance and an iron will. A heroic founder has a brilliant idea and fights through lots of setbacks until the idea finally becomes a hit. But this way of thinking leads most startups into the so-called land of the living dead. Like mindless zombies, they just can't take a hint and will keep working hard to sell a product that the market simply doesn't want. 9. Every startup should initially focus on one engine of growth. A fundamental part of any business model is an engine of growth that ensures the company does not stagnate. There are three different kinds of growth engines. 10. Vanity metrics are often flattering but misleading. They won't help you find a sustainable business model. No startup can find a sustainable business model without occasionally pausing to get directions, and these directions are derived from examining the right metrics. To gauge whether you've made any progress toward your long-term goals, you need to examine the data you've gathered along the way. 11. Every startup has to define its core metrics and analyze them properly. Defining the right metrics to track and continuously evaluating them is crucial for any startup. Only by seeing the metrics improve will you know you're on the way towards your long-term goal of finding a sustainable business model. The right core metrics differ from startup to startup, but often they're things like increases in number of paying customers, average session length per customer, and number of recommendations generated per, say, 1,000 customers. 12. The Build Measure Learn Feedback Loop Rise introduces the concept of the Build Measure Learn Feedback Loop, which is at the core of the Lean Startup methodology. Instead of spending months or years developing a product without external feedback, he emphasizes the importance of building a minimum viable product, measuring its performance, and learning from customer interactions to make informed decisions. 13. Validated Learning Rai stresses the significance of validated learning, which involves testing hypotheses and assumptions through experiments. By collecting and analyzing relevant data, you can validate or invalidate your business ideas effectively. This iterative process helps you adapt quickly, minimize risks, and optimize your product to meet customer needs. 14. Pivot or Persevere The book highlights the importance of being open to pivoting your business strategy based on feedback and data analysis. Rise explains that sometimes it's necessary to make significant changes to your product, target market, or business model to increase your chances of success. Knowing when to pivot and when to persevere is a crucial skill for entrepreneurs. 15. Innovation Accounting Rise introduces the concept of innovation accounting, which allows startups to track their progress accurately and make data-driven decisions. By focusing on actionable metrics that measure the effectiveness of their strategies, startups can avoid vanity metrics and ensure sustainable growth. 16. The Importance of Continuous Innovation The Lean Startup emphasizes the need for continuous innovation and learning to stay competitive in today's fast-paced business environment. Rise advocates for creating a culture of experimentation, adaptability, and customer centricity to drive long-term success. 17. The Importance of Rapid Prototyping Rise emphasizes the significance of rapid prototyping as a way to quickly test ideas and gather feedback from customers. By creating prototypes or MVPs and putting them in front of users early on, Startups can validate their assumptions, iterate on their products, and make informed decisions based on real data. 18. Managing Uncertainty Startups face a high level of uncertainty, and Rise offers strategies for managing this uncertainty effectively. By adopting a lean and agile approach, startups can reduce wasted time and resources while increasing their ability to adapt to changing market conditions. 
19. The Lean Startup Mindset Beyond specific methodologies, the Lean Startup also advocates for a mindset shift among entrepreneurs. RISE encourages founders to embrace a mindset of continuous learning, humility, and resilience in the face of obstacles. By cultivating a culture of experimentation and learning from failure, startups can increase their chances of long-term success. 20. Applying Lean Principles Across Industries While the Lean Startup is often associated with tech startups, RISE explains how its principles can be applied across various industries. Whether you're in healthcare, education, retail, or any other sector, the Lean Startup methodology can help you innovate, adapt, and thrive in a rapidly changing business landscape. 21. Building a Scalable Business Ultimately, the Lean Startup offers a roadmap for building a scalable and sustainable business. By focusing on iterative improvement, customer feedback, and data-driven decision-making, startups can increase their chances of achieving product market fit and scaling their operations successfully. In conclusion, the Lean Startup is a practical guide to building and scaling a startup using the Lean methodology. Here's why this book is worth reading. Packed with real-world examples and case studies, it provides actionable insights on how to test ideas, iterate quickly, and achieve sustainable growth. By emphasizing the importance of customer feedback and continuous improvement, it offers a fresh perspective on entrepreneurship and encourages risk-taking. With its engaging storytelling and transparent account of Eric Rye's own experiences, the book offers an immersive reading experience that keeps boredom at bay. So there you have it, a summary of The Lean Startup by Eric Rice. If you're intrigued by the world of startups and entrepreneurship, this book is a must-read to help you navigate the challenges and uncertainties of building a successful business. You can find the link to acquire a copy of this incredible book in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to stay tuned for more insightful content on our channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you found this book summary helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and insightful content. Leave a comment down below if you've read this book or have any other recommendations for us. Until next time, stay awesome and keep learning.